of Plastic Surgery Channel News. Brought to you by Mentor, maker of memory gel breast implants. A London man serving a life sentence for a double murder recently won a lawsuit over his right to have cosmetic surgery. 59-year-old Dennis Harlan Roberts took Justice Secretary Jack Straw to court after he was denied access to surgery to remove a large birthmark covering the left side of his face, neck, and shoulders. The case came after an illegal policy imposed by Secretary Straw restricted all non-urgent treatment for inmates. The illegitimate policy went under fire as Britain's National Health Service has said prisoners are entitled to the same care as the rest of the population. London's High Court ruled that Straw acted unlawfully and contrary to good administration. Robert's legal challenge could lead to other inmates undergoing treatments they might otherwise have been denied. Here in the U.S., many people would be appalled to think that a convicted prisoner would have the same option for cosmetic surgery as an upstanding citizen, particularly if the surgery will be paid for with taxpayer dollars. However, as the debate continues regarding nationalized health care, similar cases ruling may not be that far-fetched with the inclusion of public option in our own system.